couple of ones who were there during the last stage of his life. And I just want you to share some of the lessons that you learned and the reasons that he gave. Oh, plan one. I tell you, that was totally unexpected for I and I, you know. I mean, I remember as a youth um, getting introduced to, to herbs, you know, as a teenager. So I would have started to smoke very early. And even in my works now as a as a a social development ones and ones, you know, me tell you and you would say, you know, but I will take up the smoking, you know. And I want to see me and say, oh ironic. That stepper. I mean, one's no Afa and I as a, you know, is a herb representative still, you know. I mean, that is something where one's no Afa and I. You never really see I without herb. You know, it's something where people know I and I for, you know. So when me as a youth practitioner go in a session with a youth and say, you know, um, stop dig your hand and go plant the farm, young man, you know. <laughs> I want to say, what do you mean stop dig your hand? You must look for your split. Oh, your split so big, I tell you, it's enough to smoke. But it's really everything is a time and place thing, you know. I'm going to tell you, them say, it's a time and place. So I remember when I got to smoking, that was where, when it start with smoking and people say, my crof, ganja, go kill him, I go dead. <laughs> you know? And then me smoke, I never ever stopped. From me start smoke, I've never stopped in terms of that. But it was just smoking, you know? So I remember when we get now to Plano, it was a kind of way how we put perspective on herbs, you know, and the necessity of herbs and the spirituality and the balance of it and the reason why you get me so then i remember i come around him and we start to absorb herb in a different way you know food in a different way reading i remember when we used to run him and he used to send me for a read <laughs> he just said see the book them there see the book them there i'm gonna read it up because you don't know you know you know step up what you do you know, come here the great. Then <laughs> Jalani, we come around, you know. Jalani was who I come around as my lecturer. And true, we just take on life different from campus. We end up, so we just depend on campus. We never have no room, but we're everywhere. So we just take on, we never want to go back to our yard. You know, we never want to go to Gregopa. We end up on campus, you know, we left go back to Gregopa. Especially in them time, when the late 90s, the early 2000s. So, Planner was that man, always saying, read. He always emphasize, you have to find Rastafari and find yourself for yourself. He could have introduced knowledge to us by books and reasoning, but uh, we have to go inspectivize it in ourselves, you know, and make it happen in other fullness. I remember <clears throat> years ago, when him, him, him did amputate him foot. I never forget this. Never forget this statement to him, said to I and I. You know, him say, them amputate to and I think, and I remember which leg it was, you know, left or left or right, but it cut right at the, the nook at the knee there, you know. And him say, him get a vision from his majesty. And the vision was, in the vision, his majesty was using his amputated leg as a pen, you know, and then him used the, the pen, the foot, and just put it back in his top pocket, you know, you know, like you put a pen in your top pocket. <laughs> and we always laugh about it, you know. But Planner was was the man where would assure you or bring to you your purpose in a Rastafari. He was the one who said to me, say, you know, say, you go like you're a gangun guru. You know, so that is how we take on even the title there. Gangun right. Guru, which was from Leonard Howell, teacher of fame wisdom. You know, I mean, just take on the name. So a lot of people refer to step as Gangun Guru, which is really Leonard Howell. You know, yeah, man. Then then also now, did, did um, Plano ever speak about Leonard Howell or speak about like the whole growth of reggae, his role in it? and other ancients and in, in their contribution like how did they view the whole movement during that time as an elder because the thing shifted dramatically yeah um, man yeah yes a plano plano was a one you know he was a he was a visionary you know? I mean, still i say he means you know he's a visionary because many things were would have happened even now and how 
the, the movement have shifted and the system. Because I remember Planner was the one who would have been involved in um, the research and Rastafari from the university. All of those diplomatic um, representations and, and things like that with the system for Rastafari. You know, you would have been greatly involved in it, you know? So he would have been the one who was always trying to create a balance, you know, for Rastafari to be present and represent without, you know, any treachery from the statistical ones who never overstand. So he always tried to bring Rastafari to the people for the message for them to overstand what it is and, and who Rastafari stand for. But Planner is a music man, you know. As you know, he's a man they always make a know about the song there, you know. Um, Al Silas is the chapel, you know. It's a song where he actually put pen and paper to one thing. And it's a song where even these days, once I rise in the morning, Stephen Marley's rendition of it is something where so beautifully echoing in my ears and in my yard, yeah, you know. That's something my children them sing, you know. But Planner was always recognize and evidence him always evidence the fact say that trench stone west kingston space there you know will always be a, a superb powerful element in terms of how music connects to the world and things like that and i think is one of the greatest things for see that still happen in terms of how the music continues to be the heartbeat of the people even within the context of the the, the hijacking of it or the, the not so sweet of it or the gun down and the run down of it. You know, I always tell people, say, there always exists a consistent collection of good reggae music. You know, so you see, if you look for it, you, you know, you, you will ask, you will find it. You, know? you will find it. Yeah, man. So it always did it. You know what I try to say? Yeah, man. And, and there you talk about Martin Moplana. Martin Mo Plano, we, yeah, but yeah, 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 it's an interesting thing, you know, because when you come to the Ella Kumi, it's an it's a Ella we're close to me, you know? And yes, I. Him always, him always talk about the new faculty of interpretation. Yes, and, I. And it's a thing where what I really like, forget for, for their, their expression from this you now, in regards to the new faculty of interpretation, how do I feel like the people them will benefit from having a new faculty of interpretation. We know this time, yeah, when so much suffering are going on and their mindset so corrupt, how you think they would have really benefit from that new faculty of interpretation? Yeah, man. And, and that's why I always say, you know, you plan a visionary because it look like, say, them things are set for we even come adapt now. You know, if you never adapt it now, you can't go look and go adapt it now, you know. But even to the ones that we would have kind of a zoom into a new faculty of interpretation, which is a role, revitalization of self, you know, in that role, reclaiming of self. Because even, I, I, I know I won't work, talk about reclamation and reclaiming, and it's really after the new faculty vibe, right? Because a new faculty, you know, as much as it's say new, it's not really new. It may be new to you who are gonna take it up, but it's not new. It has always been in existence for I and I. You know, so even now, if we if take up the new faculty, it's not new, it's set a long time, but it's just new for a one. But we recognize that even in this time, it's necessary because it's unprecedented times so in and true. And that is where the new faculty, the new thought, the revitalized thought of self and of systems will become necessary. You know, that is where, you know, it has become clear. And it is becoming even clearer now because you see the new faculty, the new faculty would have spoken to how we we observe, how we, we, we deal with agriculture, how we deal with the self, how we deal with the thoughts, how we deal with the system. And all of these things now, you know, becomes unnecessary. But you see, if I wanted from the beginning, I observed the new faculty. All the way up now, never surprised him, you know, or her, you know. <laughs> you understand what I say? <laughs> so, you know, all of this time, right now, at the new faculty moment, and I mean, a lot of ones and ones across the world have been tapping into the revitalized thought of the new faculty. In a, in maybe not in a the, the strict sense of planners, um, display of it, but have tapped into pockets of it. And what I try to say is that 
are the new faculties of interpretation on a global platform is what will anchor the world in a revitalized sense of self, especially amidst this confusion. And the confusion of which I speak is where people have people are, are searching even now for for spirituality. Where however people did a grab a fight, it, it them spirituality get distorted. The religions get distorted. And a lot of this start this start go on here. You know, how them used to eat, you know, get distorted. Things where they used to believe in a people where they used to believe in a systems where they used to believe in a now make no more sense. Them confuse. Them, them head I get busy. Them don't know what to do. Because for years, this is what them do. For years, them tell them, say, this is success. Success is working a nine to five and going there and saving and doing your pension and get a little house and this is uh, every Babylon a crumble around here, you know, in a real type of way. And the new faculty is what if you find yourself absorbing it and massaging your daily life with it, it is what will give you a space to find vibrancy and to can you know breathe. <laughs> Reality meds fire, and and it's two <laughs> things I want to bring up. One, did one more thing with more than more. Did he ever talk about the world's strangest man? Would you? All the while, all the while. Can you remember say, <laughs> that 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 writing there was one of the earlier writings, eh? The world's strangest man, you know, black art man, <laughs> you know. So that is it, you know. Planner always used to tell me say, and 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 it come. It come like the eye does anchor the thing in the right way because the world's strangest man bringing the new faculty will seem very strange. So that is why, you know, that is why people find it hard to grab to the new faculty because the world's strangest man has been branded such. Because, as you know, how dare you come with all of these things? Where you come from with that? Okay, you don't make no sense. You never look clean. You know? But they always say, nobody watch your message, you know, man. Let's go and program the message. You know, they look away there. They come like more time, they just say, like the other day, I may reason with my impress, you know? I may assure her, say, it's a particular thing where. That no, I, you know, I mean, I like that with that, you know, and she just say, but what about you when you do that? I mean, I say, no, I know what you mean, do, man. man. When me do wrong, you know, it won't say, but this, you know, means that you me do a wrong, that one, right, right you wrong. <laughs> so now watch you say, me, me do something wrong, me can't see wrong. It, me, even better for me say, me can't see wrong too, because I know what it is, because I do it, you know. But to say that, the strangest man, that is what the people have to go tear away. They have been so driven away from themselves that them, their selves and greatness in themselves has become strange to them. <laughs> you understand? Yeah, man. And as in that about well, um Kumi earlier, uh, one of the things I should mention said that Kumi did make I know very straight and clear that if you try the rest of our ride and come here, I feel like some black art man album. <laughs> one of the greatest of all, all yeah. times. <laughs> yeah, my apologies for not mentioning that, you know? Well, let me hear you say, Mountain, 